Hey folks, welcome back to another video. In the previous video, your agent worked perfectly, it worked locally, but now it's time to make it live. In this video, we'll learn how to deploy an ADK powered agent to the Vertex AI agent engine. In the previous video, we built the entire AI auditor agent that could fact check your input. And now we would like to integrate that functionality into Google Docs. Now for that, we need to deploy this to the Vertex AI agent engine. If you haven't seen the previous video, I'll be leaving that link in the description. You can check that out. You can check out Vertex AI agent engines documentation, understand its costing, pricing and more. And I'll be leaving a code lab link if you want credits and you want to perform this particular process of integrating agenting workflows into Google Docs. You can check out the code lab link in the description that gives you a credit $5 credit that you can use and perform the entire things that we're doing in this video. So let's get started. So this is what we had achieved in the previous video where we built the entire AI agent and uh, we even tested it using the ADK web UI interface that we could work with. So now we're going to be deploying this to the Vertex AI agent engine, turning it into a production ready agent that can scale, connect and be invoked from anywhere, including your docs, sheets and slides. So this was the code that we had and if you haven't checked out the previous video, I'll be leaving that blog link and the video link in the description, you can check that out. In case you're not up to date with the code, you can check out the GitHub repo and you can instantly clone it or copy the code and prepare a folder structure that looks something like this. So the first thing that we're going to be doing is basically authenticating our environment with Google Cloud for which we're going to be using the G Cloud Auth application default login. So I'm going to click on enter which will instantly take you to a new tab to sign in with your Google account and just click on continue. And you can see you are now authenticated with the Google cloud or the G cloud CLI. So I'm going to come back here. It gives me back a thumbs up and we're good to go. So I'm going to clear this out. And the next thing is uh, in case you aren't in your current project, you can always just check which project you are in. So I'm going to do G cloud config list and it shows me uh, it's this is my particular email address and this is the project I am in. So in case you want to change your project, you can always use the G cloud projects, create project and then switch to that using the set project command in case you are not in the right project and you want to deploy that. Since I'm already in my project, I'm not going to basically switch and change stuff, mm -hmm. but we're going to move forward. In case you don't have ADK installed or you want to check whether you have ADK installed, we can use the ADK dash dash version, which will give me back a version that is 1.151. I think I have to update mine to the new version, but we have ADK installed. In case you don't have that, you can always use the pip install Google dash ADK command and try again. So we're going to be enabling a couple of APIs here and I'm going to be leaving this command link in the description. You can check that out, but just click on enter and in a couple of seconds, it should work perfectly. But if you prefer the console route, you can always go to your Google Cloud console by going to console.cloud.google.com, go to the APIs and service section, click on enabled APIs and services, search for your API and click on enable. But once that's done, the next important step that we have to take in deploying our agent to the Vertex AI agent engine is creating a dedicated service account to deploy and manage the ADK agent. Now there are two ways to do this. Either we can go the simple route that's going to your cloud console, going to the IAM admin section, clicking on service accounts, click on create a service account, give it a name, the ID, maybe a description, set some permissions and click on done. That's going to be the traditional route and the most straightforward basic way. Or the other way would be using the G cloud CLI command. So I'll be leaving those commands in the description. You can check that out, but I already have my service account created. But the next step that you're supposed to do is download a key, the JSON key for the service account, which will, which we'll be using in the third video to authenticate our Google app script project. So I'm going to click on this particular service account that I have here. If you have already created a service account and you want to fetch the keys, these would be the processes. But before that, you might want to look at the permissions that you are giving to your particular service account. So I'm going to click on manage access and right now I'm giving it service account token creator and Vertex AI administrator. Now you can always give it a Vertex AI user, but for now I've just given it the administrator role. And you can always check out the roles and different, different things that you can do with the service accounts. 
But once that's done, you'll have to download a set of keys. Now you can click on add key, click create new key, click on JSON and download it. In a couple of seconds, a JSON file will be downloaded automatically. Keep it safe because we have to use the contents of this particular file in the third video into our Google Apps Script properties. But once that's done, you need to create now a Google Cloud bucket. Vertex AI agent engine normally needs a Google Cloud bucket that we can use to stage our agent files before deployment. Now, once again, you can always create it from your G Cloud CLI or go to your Google Cloud console, go to Cloud Storage, go to Buckets, click on Create New Bucket, give it a name, just click on Continue, maybe specify a region and some other parameters and just go ahead and click on Create and just save or remember the name of your bucket. Now our, site, now our work from the console as of now is complete where we have our service account created, we have the keys and we have the Google Cloud Storage bucket ready and good to go. The next step in your process is to create the requirements.txt file. Now in your root folder, that's going to be ADK agents gap. I'm just going to zoom in here. You will have to create a requirements.txt file listing all your dependencies for your agent. Now, once that's done, your final folder structure should look something like this, where you have your main folder, you have your init.py file, you have your env file, the main agent file, and outside of all of this, the requirements.txt file. Now, this structure basically ensures that your agent code and dependencies are cleanly separated from your environment. And the main component here is the doc fact checker agent or the ADK agents cap. And this is the one that we will be deploying to the Vertex AI agent engine. Now that we have everything set up and good to go, we're going to be deploying our agent to the Vertex AI agent engine using the ADK deploy command. So I'm going to paste that command here and this is what you'll be looking. This is what the command basically looks like where you have ADK deploy agent engine, your project ID, region, your display name, the staging bucket and the requirements.txt file. And once you are done, just click on enter. And in a couple of seconds, you get the first response that says copying agent source. And you can see it's using the docs bucket and is writing its requirements there. And you can see on successful execution, you can see it is created and we can see our logs on the Google Cloud log. So if I open that up, this output basically confirms that the deployment process has started successfully. And it gives you back a ID and logs and in a couple of minutes, your ADK agent will be deployed. So here's what happened. So, so here's what happened. So here's what's happening. The ADK agent creation begins where the ADK CLI packages your code, uploads it to the Google Cloud Storage bucket and triggers Vertex AI to create a new agent engine instance. Now the logs link, this is a URL where you can look at your cloud logs. You can see what's happening and you can see that in the logs explorer here. And once the deployment is complete, you will see a confirmation message in your terminal that says it's done and it will provide you your engine ID there. And here you can see our agent has successfully been deployed and you can see the agent engine has been created. We have our resource name followed by the reasoning engine ID and to use this in another session is giving you more information. But in short, you have successfully deployed your first ADK agent to the Vertex AI agent engine. And if you go back to the cloud console and I'm gonna click back and I'm gonna look at if our third ADK agent and yes, it's created right now and it's successfully been created on the agent engine. That brings us to the end of the video too in the three part series. Your agent is now deployed to the Vertex AI agent engine. It is cloud powered and scalable for Google Workspace integration. In the part three, that is the next video, we're going to be looking at integrating this agentic workflow into Google Docs. You can once again find the Google code link, the blogs and the Google code lab link in the description. You can check that out. If you like this video, then don't forget to like, share and for more content, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one.